In these problems, we are doing some factoring um, with the complication of fractional and negative exponents. So if we look at this first one, we have 20 times x to the 1 3rd minus 25 times x to the 4 thirds plus 5x, uh, 5 times x to the 16 thirds, and we want to factor. The way to think about this is what is the smallest x term I have, that something that's included in all of these. And x to the 1 3rd would fit into all of these. I've got only 1 3rd here, but I've got 4 thirds here and 16 thirds here. So I can definitely take out an x to the 1 3rd from each of these. That's for the x term. And then also I want to think about the same thing. What's the, the largest common factor that they have? Um, and it looks like it's going to be 5. That's the only thing I can take out of here, and 5 will come out of these others. So what I'm going to pull out is 5 times x to the 1 third. Now when I say pull out, I mean divide. So if I divide this first term by 5x to the 1 third, well 20 divided by 5 is 4. x to the 1 third divided by x to the 1 third is 1. So 4 times 1 is just 4, so we're going to leave that. The next term is negative, so I'm just going to put that sign in there. And again, we're going to divide by, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And x to the 4 thirds divided by x to the 1 third. Well, remember, when you divide uh, exponents, you subtract the exponents. So 4 thirds minus 1 third is 3 thirds, or just x. x to the first, or just x. And then the next one is positive. I divide 5 by 5, I get 1. So I'm not even going to write that, because it's 1 multiplied by whatever is left on the x is just going to be that whatever is left on the x. And then I have 16 thirds divided by x to the 16 thirds divided by x to the 1 third. So I subtract, and that's x to the 15 thirds. Well, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so it's x to the fifth. So it looks like our answer is c. Let's try one more like that. We've got 4x to the negative 2 thirds plus 12x to the 1 third. So this one might be a little confusing because there's a negative um, exponent up here. Let's see what would happen if we tried to factor out this whole term, 4x to the negative 2 thirds. So let me put that down here, 4x to the negative 2 thirds. And if, of course, this first term, if we divide this by 4x to the negative 2 thirds, you're just left with 1. And then the next thing is positive. And now, the 12x to the 1 third. Well, let's do the 12 part. That's easy. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now, x to the 1 third minus a negative 2 thirds. Right? We're dividing by x to the negative 2 thirds, so we're subtracting the exponents. So 1 third minus a negative 2 thirds. Well, that's like adding 2 thirds. So this becomes x to the 3 thirds, or just plain old x. So that is how we factor that one, and that looks like it's d. So that is a little bit of work with uh, factoring negative and fractional exponents.